Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Coach Tia, and I have another message for you today. Um, I heard very distinctly, beware of distractions sent as opportunities. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what kind of brought this on. Um, I was presented with an opportunity today that seemingly would be an ideal opportunity. Um, I am in a season where God is shifting me. God is is remolding me, rebuilding me, and doing all types of things to all these layers. And one thing that he has shown me and revealed to me is that I will be speaking internationally all over the world and that all these different opportunities will be coming to me. Um, and so I woke up this morning with an opportunity that was presented to me via email and also through my Instagram page. Um, now, mind you, I don't know this person. I don't know anything about this person. I can't speak or vouch for their credibility or any of that. Um, looking at that person's page and the website, the person, I'm sure, is a credible person. Um, but it was the, the manner of the invitation that made me hesitate because I received an email and I received a message via inbox um, the opportunity is actually for tomorrow. And so when I reached back out, I, I just inquired because I'm in a season where I have to be very, very vigilant and I have to use discernment and pray about everything, everything. You should be praying about everything that is presented to you, every opportunity, um, before you speak, before you move, before you do. I've been trying to be very intentional with going to God about every single detail. And I know that's exactly where he wants us. And so Typically, in the past, I would have been like, oh, this is a great opportunity to be interviewed and to be on this YouTube page and blah, blah, blah. Yes, absolutely. This must be from God because this is an opportunity. And he said that I was going to be speaking internationally to all of these women and encouraging them and giving them hope. Don't be so excited for the manifestation that you just are open to any and everything because just like you heard the word that God spoke to you the enemy heard it as well and the enemy is a counterfeit so he is going to do everything he can to steal kill destroy and distract right right so when I reached out and I inquired about more information the person was very sweet you know um, willing to give the website and a little bit of background about about their their business and who they are but also noted that their their original speaker got sick and backed out at the last minute they happened to run across my page and they actually extended the offer to several people and they needed an answer by noon when i looked at the clock it was 11:58 so i had to you know graciously decline i said thank you for thinking of me for considering me i can't make a decision on that quick notice um especially not having any information about you and you just found me randomly so you don't even know anything about me um but it was it wasn't that it was a backhanded invitation it was that i know what god has said to me and spoken to me and i now know my worth and the old insecure doubtful me would have been eager to say yes to any opportunity presented to me but in this season where i am and what god is doing in my life and the way that i know how the enemy tries to attack and i'm sucker punching that fool I realize that I cannot say yes to every opportunity I cannot say yes to every invitation you have to go to God you have to pray you have to ask God is this from you if it is make it so if it's not block it ask God use discernment ask for discernment and strategy when it comes to these opportunities that are being presented to you because the enemy is a counterfeit and he's a liar and a loser and he wants you to think that God didn't say what he said and so it, like I said, it wasn't that it was a backhanded invitation, but I know my worth and I know what I bring to the table and I know my value. So getting an invitation the day before and saying I've reached out to multiple people and I need to know right now. First of all, God works in decency and order. God is not a God of rush. So if there's something that is presented to you and, and they're saying you need to give me an answer by this date and I need this right now and hurry up and, and think fast, act fast, because I've asked other people if there's an urgency that is not accompanied with peace. It may be counterfeit. It may be something that's sent to distract you. So I want to encourage you to be mindful, be vigilant, use discernment. If you don't think you have it, pray for it and go to God about every single thing, everything, 
because God will confirm it for you. And for me, that was the confirmation I needed. I don't want to be a second thought invite, in, invitee. I don't want to be a second thought panelist. I don't want to be a, oh, well, the original person backed out. So I thought I'd just ask you. No. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I know my value and I know the gift that God has put inside of me. And my gift, my gift is a panelist, honey. I'm a speaker. I am, I am an encourager. I, I add value to anything. And so not saying that I'm so high and mighty that I need to be the first pick, but I know that I'm God's first pick. And so understanding my value and my worth, I can't just say yes to any and everything because I need everything to be aligned and ordained by God. Okay. Sometimes the enemy will send distractions and things that look exactly like what you want. They, he will send that fool's gold to you and you're like, oh yes, this thing is shiny and it's pretty and it's nice. This must be what God has for me. But without discernment and without praying first, you'll get that rock home and realize that it's not the gold that you were waiting for, but you just settled for it because you're so anxious for any opportunity and you're so anxious to feel a move from God. And God has been dealing with me a lot on that in the last few weeks and just some other situations that have come up to not be so quick to respond, not so be so quick to reply, not be so quick to, to say yes, or not be so quick to just um, take anything that's offered to you because there are so many counterfeits out there. There are so many scammers. There are so many um, people that are being used by the enemy that aren't may not even know. This person, uh, this is not to shade that person at all. I believe that the person has a valuable ministry or business or brand and that person needed to have that role filled and I'm honored that, that I was considered but in this season in this stage I know what I bring to the table and um backhand invitations is not it so like I said anxious eager me in last season would have said yes because I would have taken anything that was handed to me because I was so thirsty for the opportunity but in this me after all the hell I've been through okay and what God is doing, I know that I have to make sure I go to God in prayer for everything and not be so quick with my yes. Because you don't want to say yes to the wrong thing and end up trapped and entangled in a web of lies and deceit. Or taking the crumbs that are handed to you because you don't realize that you're worthy of the entire cake. And God told me that I'm worthy of the entire cake. Okay, baby? So come with the cake or don't come at all. Okay? Yeah, I'm kidding, but I'm serious. So please take this. I pray that this blesses somebody. I pray that this alarms something in your spirit to make you say, hold on, wait a minute. Tia said that I need to go about this in prayer and I need to consult with God about this before I give my yes. Be mindful of opportunities that are disguised. Okay? Be mindful of those distractions that are sent as opportunities that are trying to trip you up and keep you from your promise, from your purpose, from your breakthrough. I love y'all. I pray you have a wonderful week. This is a week of miracles. God is about to blow our mind before the end of 2022. I am hopeful. I am expectant. I am excited. And I am just waiting to see what God does because I know it's going to be an Amos 9, 13 through 15 type of blessing breakthrough that's coming my way, baby. Okay? And I need all of it, okay? So share this video with somebody. Let me know if this resonates with you in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Please subscribe to my page, y'all, because this thing is growing. And I, I, I want you to be a part of the movement. I want you to be a part of the baby before this thing grows into full blown because it's going to do that, okay? Have a wonderful week. Peace.